comment section went insane. Three and a half million views on that video and a lot of misinterpretation and misunderstanding. First of all, for those of you saying that I'm a child, Thank you. I am almost 32 years old. I have been married almost 10 years. Best friends with Jesse, my husband, for 14. And we have spent the past seven years researching, studying, and teaching on marriage and relationships. We unfortunately have witnessed a lot of damaged um, relationships that have gone through emotional affairs, which have ultimately led to physical affairs. So I wrote this down so I could just be quick about it. And of course, there's a difference between relationships where you are mutual friends and your husband knows that person and your wife knows that person. What I am talking about is something very different where there is an emotional bond being created with one another that your husband or wife is are not fully involved in. And our society tends to make marriage just about us. If I'm not happy, I'm moving on. Um, it's 50-50. If he doesn't give his 50, I don't give my 50. But that's just not the way that it should be. We are called to stick through it. And it's not all about our happiness because there's bound to be moments where we're not happy with one another. We have to fight for that relationship. So in regards to these emotional friendships, you don't have to believe my word or take my word for it. You can do your own research, but emotional relationships cause extreme damage to relationships because they typically lead to the idea that there is something better out there for you, which makes you look at the greener grass on the other side rather than watering your own grass. And affairs almost always begin with emotion. Affairs typically do not begin with a physical sexual relationship. Relationship. I never say I could never fall into that because you just never know. It happens to the best of us, right? So a few ways to know if a relationship is airing on the side of an emotional affair with a friend of the opposite sex. One, when talking to your friend, you feel more comfortable confiding in them than you do confiding in your spouse. Number two, you don't share the extent of your friendship with your spouse. They may know that you are friends, but may not know what types of information that you share with them and how close you really are. Number three, you find yourself thinking about your friend more than you know you should be, or when you and your friend are alone, you interact or feel differently than when other people are around and you either feel or recognize some sense of emotional or physical tension. So with all of that said, for more on healthy relationships and marriage, subscribe on Spotify or iTunes to the Living Easy Podcast where Jesse and I have discussions just like this. Also sign up for the Wife Project course from roommates to soulmates, which teaches you how to communicate, how to fight fair, how to have fun again with your spouse, how to increase your intimacy, and your passion in the bedroom. It is intended to deepen your faith in God in such a way that has no choice but to pour out over onto your marriage. And click the link in my bio for any of those things. Thank y'all for being here. Even those of you who don't agree with me, I'm always open to 